So, hi guys, as you can see by the name and by the suit that I am wearing, this is on the CW slash Injustice type apocalyptic type suit that I have made. After I couldn't make the CW suit, I decided to kind of do my own version. Uh, I have the gauntlets and stuff on this that I took from my Kit Fleisch. I have the cycling gloves that I said previously in my Spider-Man video. I have these arm pods that were previously shim pods that I used in my Daredevil suit. I have finished the mask. Okay. The reason I didn't want to show this previously is because I didn't like this design. I'm seeing new flesh masks come out and they have sort of a good design. Uh, I saw some new Ezra Miller style pictures that I may try and design. That's a little hint there to a future video. I have the kind of CW shaped mask like so it goes up the mouthpiece all the way up here into my chin I have to just fix up here I've added the little square chin piece I also these were just made from a pair of paintball uh, glasses apologize for the little fro yeah I love the suit and how it looks on so we'll get straight into the suit right now and you make first a jacket base so for the jacket you can see now I use some maroon fabric that is right here. So I had some maroon, uh, maroon that is a dark red, like going into a brownie color, and that is for the CW Fleisch when I tried to make it. <coughs> if you can get some in your local art shop or online, this is some normal polyester uh, type fabric. This doesn't uh, stretch in any way. So first I cut my front and my back like I do with all my process videos if you wanna check those out. And then I glue those together I cut my arm shape and also I have the Lycra going down here for the arm so it kind of has that CW design he actually has a split going down his and it goes from a darker to an even darker under here I have the design this is from uh, things that you use to put on the end of your carpets or underneath your mats to make it not move and stick to the floor and I just lined that all the way around the jacket. I got that in a discount store. You can see it goes around to the design in the back. And I'm just really excited about this suit. I'm sorry about the light glare, like kind of fluctuating. I'll go into the chest piece now and let you get a good look at the chest piece. So this guy's the chest piece was made from an aluminium can. You can see like so it gives it that nice metal shine. And I've just spread some black spray paint onto that also to give it a nice weathered look. And this is just, oh. So, you can see there it's just popped off in the middle of the video, I will just glue that on now. But, it is an aluminium can, so you can see the inside of the aluminium can like so. And that is a piece of stay flax that it is glued onto. And then you just peel that off, and it has two pieces of velcro right here. Then also I have the chest pieces. So I have this chest plate, I tried to do the CW design. You can use cardboard or EVA foam. What this is known as is Peltex, that is P-E-L. TEX and that it can be found in a Hobby Lobby maybe try it there's different thicknesses guys so try and find out the different thicknesses As you can see I have that just going all the way up to kind of my shoulder and curving off there is a split right here in both pieces this goes down to my chest I'm going to add some pieces on the sides like so I have the zip going up the middle you can watch my other process videos for that guys I have the gauntlets, so I also have a process for the gauntlet video. It is the exact same design, so one, two, and three pieces, which I show my process gauntlet video. You can check that out, and this just has the little uh, thunderbolt going on this end. Goes all the way around my wrist, and this is held on with one, two, three, and four elasticated straps. So this is the elasticated straps right here, guys. This is the way it comes and rolls. You can check your local fabric store, a sewing shop, or online. But this is just elasticated straps for clothing and for work wear and stuff. And I have that holding on my gauntlets going down the wrist. I just have to glue these on. Then you see here I have these shim pads that I've shown in my Daredevil. That is, these are the Sandico shim pads used in sports. And these are to protect your uh, legs. So they are the lower half of your legs. And I have just covered up the symbol right here that said Sandico up there. You can check out my Daredevil video for that. And I actually open up the packet and show all the uh, packaging and stuff with it. I have three straps going around here for my arm. I also have some extra fabric here for breathability in the armpits. Okay, because these suits do get warmer collins. And here, I'll just show the helmet like so again. 
I have these Thunderbolts earpieces. Uh, this the suit is much darker actually in person. It's just that light coming in is really making it too too bright. I'll just try and focus that in there. It did. So hi guys, I apologize for the really bad quality. This sunglar coming in and this tablet that I'm filming on. It is a Kindle Amazon that's meant to be read for audiobooks. It is effing shit. But we'll get through it so you can see right now the inside of my mask. I will show you this. Okay. So I have a pair of sunglasses. Alright, you can see on the edges like so. They are the plastic airsoft. Now you can get these days cost me eleven pounds here in Ireland. They were for airsoft or paintballing. I'll stress that and let you see. But I have built up around the sunglasses and I have built all the pieces around, you know, the outer frame to go around my nose piece and stuff, like so. And you can get a plastic face mask, like so. Now again, I will say these are carnival masks and these can be found in art shops and any kind of craft store or maybe in online. But you can actually just cut it off here at the nose point along here, going up and down. And you will have your flesh uh, front base plate. That is what I did with my first mask. So I have just built up for the forehead, like so, with one piece, then another one going up here, the side, then another piece going the whole way around to shape my eyepiece, okay, like so. Then I have these pieces coming around here for my cheek to go up around my nose, okay, and they both meet up here in the middle for. Uh, my eye slats and then you have this middle piece just converging down the middle really sorry about this sunglar it is terrible in here today uh, Ireland is getting a really sunny day today but yeah uh, my ear pieces again the aluminium can is a circular you can see you can just spray paint yours you can color yours whatever way you want but again you can use cardboard or EVA foam for the lightning bolts for all these pieces you can use this shape just make sure they are durable but if you are in the US and you are close to a Hobby Lobby check out for Peltex and that is what you can see there it is covered all the white stuff and I just wrap it in the uh, fabric I also have a lot of process videos where you can check me out building the zoom masks and stuff so you see it follows down my chin strap like so and then I have the square piece that I have to fix up here for my chin. And if you don't have a head mannequin, you'll want to maybe just get the measurements of your head or just make sure keep matching up pieces that you cut out to your face. And if they fit, brilliant. Just cut out another piece of that and let them to be your side pieces. Keep following that tradition. And yeah, I have elasticated straps here at the back. I have to build up a back piece like so. But that will be all coming in due time. I try not to build the back piece yet for you guys. I'm using a rubber neck piece from a Batman cowl that I had a long time ago that really didn't fit. Uh, I just cut up all the pieces and then I used the rubber neck piece for most of my cosplays. So as I say, you can use cardboard or EVA foam for all of these pieces guys and color them, spray paint them, wrap them in the fabric uh, material with a hot glue gun, that's what I do. Again, the shim pads like so. I'm going to be working on the bottom half, but we will show you the belt. So this is my belt and this guys is a luggage strap so this is uh, straps that you get for your luggage to put around your suitcases and I, I joke not that's what you just call it luggage strap so you can see here let's go luggage strap and this is a brand new one that I've just bought for you guys to show uh, and this has a code and a big buckle in the middle again the belt itself is actually green so if I flip this belt around you can see that this belt was grey and I've just wrapped it in the red fabric on the outer rims, okay? So now it gives it that red texture. I've added on the lightning bolts like so. And this just clips around in here, like that. These are actually have a code on them, so you can actually have a code for it, and you don't. You can just put a little code, no one will be able to take the belt off except for you knowing, unless you put the code in. I always take the codes out, really, and just pop them out. But I have a middle piece here, and you can find those guys, sorry, in a discount store. I've got it in Poundland here in the UK. You check your local Walmart, check your local hardware stores. Uh, really keep an eye out around, but I'll show those again. These can be used for a lot of utility belts, a lot of chest straps. I've used them in the Star Lord, the Batman Mac armor. I use them for all of my utility belts, basically. This is my belt going around here. You can also adjust uh, the size of them so you will get the perfect uh, size for putting around your waist. 
So yeah, this just goes around and clips around like so. You can also vary it with shoulder pads. So you can put on shoulder pads like so. This is what I'm going to do afterwards. I'm going to be putting on these shoulder pieces for the flash to armor it up like an Injustice design. That looks so cool, doesn't it? But yeah, guys, I got these in uh, another sort of discount store. That is Lidl. Uh, L-I-D-L. -L. That is here in the UK and Ireland. But these were skating pads. So keep an eye out for skating pads or rollerblading pads. Any safety wear that has a nice texture, cone and plastic uh, texture to it. That came out all wrong. Anyway, we'll move on. Just keep your eye out for good safety wear and safety pads. They always work. Sports wear and safety pads, they always come in handy too. The basic gloves that I have previously shown in my Spider-Man uh, PS4 exclusive suit. These you can buy in another discount store for £1. And uh, these are for cycling. These are so you don't get sores and blisters in your hands. You can see here they are padded up. So they just have a nice red tone, they come in many different colours. I'll just put the mask on for you guys. And also, <clears throat> you could also uh, have a face mask. Sorry I'm jibber jabbering and jumping from one thing to the other. I'm just really excited and this light glare has got me all confused. So the flash is, this is a little lycra face mask that I have made. Again, you check out my, uh, my Spider-Man face mask videos. I just show me cutting one side and another side of the lycra fabric. Again, this is just the same thing, only I've cut a hole in the middle to cover up the back of my head. And this just tucks into the neck piece like so. Okay, you can see here, you just tuck that in and around the neck piece. Okay, now that I have a nice cohesive red piece like so, I pop on my mask. And because of the sunglasses, it will give me a nice shape to my face. I actually have to pad up the inside. Let me move my hair. And I have the CW like kind of style eye going in a point. So if I turn around to the side, you can see I have like the CW profile okay, of the mask. It has the nice split going down here, and all that kind of stuff. So you can see here, just put the straps on, some Velcro here at the back. Just pop that on like that. And that just sits like so. That fits around my chin, very nice. Again, I say I have the red piece just to cover up any skin showing. And this is my CW mask. So you can see the white glare fluctuating a lot. I'm sorry if this was a very long video, everyone. Just really want to give you an in-depth look into this. You can use normal face masks like this from craft stores. You can buy other variant masks and keep adding to them. Build it up piece by piece. You know, I built up the side pieces and the chin strap. I made a jacket, a shirt base, and just added all these pieces to it. I bought some sportswear, and throughout the years, I've added to it. Again, the gauntlets you can see here. And I have a gauntlet process video where I just cut the pieces, wrap them in the fabric using the hot glue gun to give a nice texture and tone. And then you just use some elasticated straps or whatever you can to uh, hold it to around your wrist. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it. You can make any flash design you want. I love this mask, it just looks so good. I have to make a back piece for it and yeah, thank you so much for watching everyone. Please subscribe and comment. Please let me know what you think and if you have any problems with a flash design or with any other suit. And for me, everyone here at Ireland, always let your geek speak. Please subscribe and comment. Bye guys, I'm Barry Allen. Flash. Oh yeah, that's, that's right. I was actually working on a method, guys. So you can see here I have the neck piece. I'm working on... Ugh. Yeah, so all I have to do is attach the mask to this neck piece. And I can just pull on and off the mask like so. You can see. Yeah. I just adjust that. Fold up the neck piece like that. And I have my mask on. Okay guys, so I'm working on the technique of being able to pull on and off the mask like so. And just let it sit there. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and comment. And I am...